grade 8 science. Fifth lesson, sound. We can hear different types of sounds from our surrounding. We can use these sounds to identify the changes of the environment. Sound is a type of energy and this sound energy travels from one place to another as waves. Ear is the sensory organ which adapted to identify the sound waves. Sound can be classified as natural sounds and artificial sounds. The examples for the natural sounds are Birds call, cats meow, dog bark, humming of bees, sound of flowing water, sound of wind blowing, and thundering. Some examples for artificial sounds are the sounds of machines or the factories, the sound of vehicles, sound of musical instruments, and sound of electrical instruments. Always, sound is produced by vibrating the objects. The sound producing objects are known as the sources of sound. There are three types of sources of sound. First one, the objects which produce sound by vibrating a membrane. For example, you have given a country drum, a bell here. Bass drum, double drum, top blower, and rabana. Second one is the object which produces sound by vibrating air columns. You have given flute, clarinet, trumpet, or an arrow as the examples. The third group is the objects which produce sound by vibrating strings or rods. Mandolin, violin, guitar, sitar, piano are the objects which produce sound by vibrating strings. On the other hand, xylophone, talampata, triangle are produce their sound by vibrating metal rods. Now, we are moving to an important part of this lesson. It is frequency of sound. The number of vibrations per unit ton of an object is referred as the frequency of that object. The frequency is measured by the unit hertz. For an example, let Let's consider about a guitar string. If the string vibrates 50 times within one second, the frequency of that guitar string is 50 hertz. The ears of different animals are sensitive to different ranges of frequencies. This range is known as the limit of hearing. Here you have given some examples for the limits of hearing. The hearing limit of human ear is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. It means man cannot hear the sounds of the frequency which is less than 20 hertz or more than 20,000 hertz. Bat can hear the sounds of higher frequencies up to 70,000 hertz. Tones and noises. Tones are the rhythmical sounds which are pleasant to our ear. Tones are produced 
by methodical or formal vibrations of objects. Noises are the unpleasant sounds. They are produced by non-formal vibrations of objects. Noises can be harmful to our ear. Sometimes tones also can be disturbed to us. If the intensity of the sound is high, it depends on the personal desires. Musical instruments. There are different types of musical instruments which are used all around the globe. These musical instruments can be classified as traditional instruments and modern instruments. Traditional instruments are the instruments which are combined with the culture of a country. We are using since ancient periods. Different countries have various traditional instruments. Thumb metama or double drum, the Candian drum, low country drum, daula, horanava are some of the traditional instruments of Sri Lanka. These traditional instruments are mostly used in religious places, cultural festivals, weddings and funerals, common folks like devil dancing and chanting goodwills, and ancient war activities. Before I told you that different countries have different traditional musical instruments. So, the traditional musical instrument of India are harmonium, sita, esraj, and tabla. Modern instruments are very common in modern musical field. These modern musical instruments are very famous among younger generation. Electric keyboard, electric guitar, octopad, electric violin are some examples for the modern musical instruments. Most of these modern instruments are easy to handle. Not only that, but also a single instrument can be used to produce many sounds. That is the reason uh, to become these instruments very famous. Now we have reached to the end of our lesson. Finally, we are going to discuss about the musical therapy. The treatments given using music is known as musical therapy. Music therapy can be used in different events. Mainly, music therapy can be used to improve the physical fitness of and mentally and mental integrity of patients to reduce the mental depression of the patients suffering from brain disorders, nerve disorders, heart problems, high blood pressure and cancers. And also, musical therapy can be used to relax some patients before their surgeries. On the other hand, Musical therapy is very important to improve the memory of students. Nowadays, the musical, musical therapy is used to maintain the muscle coordination in sport activities and exercises. So, this is the end of our presentation. Thank you for watching.